Brazil has a varying climate from a tropical to an alpine climate. It all depends on elevation, topography, and both the direction and intensity of prevailing winds. In Venezuela, the temperature is usually around 30 degrees Celsius. The differentiating factor is the humidity, which can make it feel much hotter some days. May through November is known as the rainy season. The air in these months is extremely humid. The geographical features in Venezuela vary from mountains to deserts to rainforests. Oil history was made in 1943 when the Standard Oil of New Jersey, now known as Exxon, accepted a new agreement in Venezuela. The U.S. previously controlled much of Venezuela's petroleum industry, and now Venezuela controlled most of it. In 1958, newly elected leader Perez Alfonso devised a plan for an international oil cartel that would become known as OPEC. There are many countries in OPEC and many different continents. During Jimenez's dictatorship from 1952 to 1958, Venezuela actually enjoyed a remarkably high GDP growth. GDP is gross domestic product and is a measure of the total sales of goods and services in a country. GDP per capita is a GDP divided by total population, so individually Venezuelans did well. New President Ramiro Bentancourt was actually able to balance Venezuela's public budget when he took over in 1959. Venezuela had one of the strongest economies in Latin America in the 1950s and took in a lot of immigrants. In 1940, the Institute of Experimental Medicine was founded. Around 1942, Augusto P. Sunier was able to demonstrate with his work that the hyperventilation response in dogs with intact vagus was caused by breathing air with an abnormally high concentration of CO2 due largely to peripheral chemoreceptor reflexes with vagal efferents. During the 1950s, the Institute of Medical Research was founded by Marcel Roche. In 1955, the diamond scalpel knife was invented by Humberto Fernandez Moran. In 1950, the Venezuelan Association for the Advancement of Science was founded. In 1959, the Venezuelan Scientific Research Institute was also founded. During the 1950s, institutes of technology were invented in Venezuela as post-secondary education option, educational options for technical and scientific courses. In 1935, Venezuela discovered its oil supply, and it transformed from an agrarian society to be a more affluent urban society. The Venezuelan people began rapidly importing and exporting goods, and along with these goods came new ideas and new values. Venezuela's culture adapted to become more North American and European. During the Second World War, Venezuela sympathized with the Allies partially due to this cultural overlap. When Venezuela's constitutional democracy was overthrown in 1948 and taken over by a military dictatorship, the country no longer had time to focus on international relations because it was too preoccupied with its own internal problems. A majority of Venezuelans were either European or of mixed European ethnicity in the 1940s and 50s. The native Aboriginal people were pushed out of Venezuela centuries before, and during this time they only made up around 1% of the population. Venezuela was almost entirely Christian, and of those Christians, 96% were Roman Catholic. This Christian doctrine was the strongest influence on their collective social values. One major architect in Venezuela was Carlos Raul Venezuela. He designed the Central University of Venezuela. He did other major architectural work. This work included the capital, La Concordia Plaza, Anatomical Institute, University Hospital, and 
the School of Petroleum Engineering. Football was introduced to Venezuela in the early 1940s. It quickly became the country's favorite sport. Soccer was introduced in the very late 50s, and it has competed against baseball for the hearts of the people. The Democratic Action Party won a majority of the seats in the Assembly, and they drafted a new constitution in 1946. Vamilo Gallegas, candidate of Benton Court's party, became Venezuela's first democratically elected president in 1947. Within eight months, Gallegas was overthrown by a military-backed coup led by Marcos Jimenez, who elected himself in 1948. Gallegas took refugee in Cuba, then Mexico, and finally returned to Venezuela in 1958. Marcos Jimenez held an election in which voters could only choose between voting yes or no to another term for president in a flawed election. Venezuela has been one of the most stable democracies in Latin America all the way from the 50s to the 80s. Under the post-1958 democratic regime, it is described as the reign of the middle class. During the 1950s, it is also known as the time of urbanization. Many people started to change, have changed in lifestyle, going from rural to urban. From the 1920s up, up through this period, progress is made with the oil era. This, uh, this caused much of the illiteracy to li literacy within the culture. Many people moved from rural areas to cities because of this. <laughs>